Well, work's done for the day. We got some of the outhouse uh, be matched and we got the propanes running now, so we're good to go on that. I'll show you the outhouse. Insulated, be matched up to there. Donnie will figure out what else we need for that. Yeah. Yeah. He wants this this toilet out of here. What? You want this toilet out of here? Yeah. Yeah. Now. Now. He's just moving stuff from one spot to another. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if this installation we can throw up overhead. Yeah. I well, mean, this is junk. Yeah, that's junk. Throw the insulation in the outhouse. Yeah, good idea. I mean, we could use it in there, right? Yeah, we can use it. Yeah. Stevie's getting dressed up. We're gonna, Stevie and I are gonna go for a little ride on the snowmobiles. He's got a Scandex same year as Donnie's Tundra. So he'll be good to go on that thing. I hope so. Hope it stays running. Oh yeah. It'll be fine, guy. Oh, I yeah. hope it stays upright. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. We'll keep it under 100. <laughs> That road is tricky riding on it. It's not bad right now, it's soft. Through the ridges. Yeah, it's pretty soft right now. Ah. We'll be back sometime before dark, Donnie. Yep, no problem. We're gonna go looking for an antler or maybe a spot to do some deer hunting next year. And you know, Stevie and I, we just worked every time we've come up, so we don't know the area too well. So we kind of want to learn the area, and we know we've driven by all these roads two or three times, but we've never checked them out, so we're going to check them out. So come along, guys. You ain't been up that moose road yet, have you? You haven't been up that moose road. The moose road where we saw all the moose. If I did, it was that day with Mickey. No, we didn't go that way. Okay. Yeah. Cool, I'll show you this area, you'll like it. Nice. It's two o'clock. Nice. Dark, probably gets dark. Uh, 
Shouldn't have any trouble getting out of here, should you? I don't think so. No, just hammer on it. Pretty cool down in here oh, <laughs> with man. snowmobiles. You'd never think we'd be here. As soon as we uh, came down off the end off this way, I was like, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> look where we are. Isn't it crazy? I want to get back in here in November. November. Right?
Yeah. Pretty cool area. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's another road, so we'll just buggy down and keep going. Yeah. Good. good. No, all in all, is a hell of a good one. Quite a while, and I said, "Oh my word, he's probably in some chopping with the skis bent half up oh. over blowdowns." Yep, that was last night. Yeah, that was last. Yeah, night. no, all, tonight. All alone with no equipment. Yeah, no time just kind of got away from us today. We stopped, talked a little while, and went away, and then stopped, talked, and yeah. Yeah. we're we're making plans for next Thanksgiving. You think you can make it or no? We'll have to see. I oh, guess. that'd be awesome. Yeah. And, and Stevie's, it'd be dream come true for Stevie. If his dream comes true? No, it would be a dream come true. Oh, for, it would be a dream. To have Thanksgiving right here. Yeah. With it, with family and everybody. Yeah, that would be I'd cool. friggin' love it. Yeah. You tell, just tell us what we need to make it happen, Stevie. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know if it'll be this year, but when my, my mom has one more year, I think, to work, and then she'll retire. And then... The, someone in her department always has Thanksgiving week off. Shoot. Yeah. So, but not to say we couldn't do another long weekend in November. Right, yeah. yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving this year, but. Because Stevie was saying if we did a Thanksgiving, the three of us could stay in muzzle them. Yeah. We could have like a family hunt some, but not like. Die hard, right, right, you know, yeah. gone from dark to dark type right, thing. Yeah. And leave the girls here the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be, that would suck for them. But, you know, do little hunts, do some scouting around, <laughs> yeah. you know, have fun and right. whatever. Cook, you know, have some nice meals. And yep. and then if we can, and then if the, <laughs> the girls head back home like on Sunday, then if we had the full muzzle over week two, yeah. it'd be perfect. Yeah. Because it'd be one trip for us. We'd stay right here, and the girls could just make their way home on Sunday, and then right. we'd have the rest of the muzzleloader to hunt. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. But pollution. Oh my God! The pollution. The pollution. <laughs> Don't tell. Holy Don't shit. tell. Inspect again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had. I cleaned up the camp pretty good. Did you? Yeah. And. uh Read a little bit, kind of dozed a little bit. Did you? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good for you. Well, we're uh, we're done on the snowmobile ride. Stevie made it back on fumes. That thing's kind of a pig. That 550 fan ski do tender 2012, 423 miles on it. But she chews through the gas. But on the last bar is a lot bigger than the other bars. Yeah. So. Yeah, 400 and. 63 miles on it. Wow. Yep. Nice. So we went for a pretty good ride then. Yeah. Yeah, so, great ride. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, tons of moose sign. Not a lot of moose. Beautiful yeah, ton country. Of, ton of fun, isn't oh, it? Oh man, that's fun. I love that. But yeah, so we're yes. gonna go in and inspect the camp. We heard Donnie has been working hard in our absence. So Go take a look. It doesn't look like the table was cleared off, so I'm not happy already. It doesn't look like he's done that in here. <laughs> oh boy. So nice to have a cook stove. Oh my god, it's so nice to come home to cooking. <laughs> Holy cow on it. Yeah, you look in the other room. Where is everything? <laughs> You'll never find it. <laughs> well, that smells awesome. That smells good, Donnie. <laughs> you got a chop suey started? Got it started. Yeah. Oh boy. 
get Stevie some side boards for his plate. <laughs> <laughs> Fire up that generator, buddy. Making this with the venison sauce. I was going to say, it smells like venison to me. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Is that from Russell? What's that? Russell's deer? Did you? The venison, is that from Russell's deer? Uh, yep. I think so. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yep. Yeah. Stevie, you think everyone will want to sleep upstairs or downstairs? I'm thinking upstairs. Will we get the rail on that? Yeah, I think so. Really? I, so. I, I remember being a kid, I always yeah. wanted to be up Same. in the loft. Oh yeah. my word. Yeah. Same. Well, how long do you think we'll have to wait for this dinner? If you keep complaining, <laughs> you're going to be waiting quite a while. <laughs> That's a bad, bad ass, Tony. Uh, well, how much longer do we have to wait? <laughs> uh, I will never, as long as I ever forget his face when I scooped out that half a scoop of cup sitting on his plate. Well, Donnie. You outdone yourself again in your culinary arts. Well, it isn't too hard to make chop soy. Well, you've done a heck of a job at it. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Want me to shovel for you? Yeah. Be great. Super. Stevie, you want a shovel? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It never gets old. No, no, that's a good one. It, but it works the best on pan. Oh my God! Doesn't it get bad? Uh, Stu like these uh, tomatoes. Yep. Spicy ones. Okay. No, it spices it up a oh, little bit. That's perfect. It's delicious. Now, I saw you grab the hot sauce yesterday, so I figured you like spice. I do, yep. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. So, did your brother use his camp much this year? Or? Uh, yeah. He did during hunting season. Uh, he hasn't been up this winter at all. Yeah. But, um,. Him and Toby did a, a Thanksgiving trip, and Kenny and Kurt actually too, the four of them. Oh. We had the best moose on, yeah. I think. We didn't get a moose, but well, I mean, it was, it was great. great the way we hunted. Hmm. I had a blast. And Mike worked hard to get mm -hmm. it for him. I like that guy. I like Mike a lot. Yeah. I'd like to have him come up here for yeah. the trip sometime. Birds or moose or whatever, mm -hmm. anything. I'd like to get them a key to this place mm -hmm. and just say go up whenever. Yep. Wow, this is good gear, don't we? Mm. It's good. Good job. Wow, you yeah. sound excited. Yeah. <laughs> That's a monster. That's, it is. Is. <laughs> That's a nice fish. <laughs> yeah. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! That's a monster. Yeah. And that's the picture we got of it. I don't know if you can. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of pretty colors. I think it must have been a female. Yeah. But, but pretty damn nice fish. Big one. Yeah. He's a getting a cutie. You're gonna have to watch her when she gets teenager. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh. We had a we had her birthday party last. She turned six Friday last week, so we had a birthday party for her at uh, uh, the middle school gym. Oh wow! And a bunch of kids came and they just ran around and played and it mm -hmm. was great. And uh, so she was opening her gifts and this uh, this 
where she opens this one and it's like a, a pink dress with purple flowers on it. Yeah. And uh, from this little boy that's in her class. And uh, next one. So we thought it was pretty cute that the boy wanted to get her a pretty dress for her yeah. birthday. Yeah. So the mother came over to us after and she's like, he insisted that she find a pink dress with purple flowers on it because Evelyn is going to look so good in that oh dress. Oh my word. <laughs> He's got a crush on her. Oh, oh, wow. Is it Hillary's boy? It's not, no, but it was... Uh, Wow. One of the kids that was on our T-ball team last year that I loved. He was, he was awesome. He's a little, tiny little guy, and he swings as hard as he can every time at the nice. ball. So I, I, like loved, I loved it. I yeah. like that. Yeah, huh. me too. Uh, He's a good kid. Uh, that's something that a boy would want to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how quick she's growing up. Hmm. Yeah. You know. She's going to be tall. Mm -hmm. Is she tall for her classmates? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at, the, at her birthday party last week, I mean, she's like, everyone else is like maybe up to her shoulder. Yeah. Wow. She's like, no, she looks like she's two years older than all the other kids. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So. You gotta tell Donnie about the tooth fairy story. Oh uh, yeah. So she lost her first tooth maybe a month ago. And so she um, she knew the tooth fairy was coming that night. Yeah. So she found one of the her old uh, Easter eggs, the plastic eggs oh, that yeah. you can put stuff in. So yeah. she put her tooth in that. And she wanted to give the tooth fairy a gift. So she went and found some of uh, her Barbie doll's shoes. Yeah. She thought that would probably be the right size for the tooth fairy. So she put her tooth <laughs> and those shoes in that egg and she put that under her pillow. So it's probably like midnight or 1230 or something. And she comes into our room and she's bawling, crying her eyes right out. Well, in her head, she thought the tooth fairy was bringing her coins. Right. But yeah. we put paper money in. Okay. Yeah. Right. So... So she's crying, and, and so we're like, Evie, what, you know, what's wrong, honey? She goes, the tooth fairy didn't give me any coins. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, so Chrissy's like, well, let me see. And so she opened it up. She's like, oh, well, there's, there's paper money in here. This is money that she brought you. It's more than just coins. Yeah. She goes, oh, well, it was dark in my room. I thought that paper was the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny! Oh my God! That's oh funny. wow! Yeah, Jesus, you you Jesus. did well to to get it out from under a pillow while right? without yeah. waking her up. Yeah. Oh my.